Everyone knows that pressing Shift Command 4 lets you capture a screenshot of a select portion of your screen, but you can also add the spacebar to that shortcut in order to switch to window only selection, which will capture windows cleanly with their drop shadow. What's even better is jotting down a quick note with function plus Q without having to wait for the notes app to load. Another cool thing you might want to try is hitting command plus D when you're saving something and the save as dialog will jump to the desktop folder. And in the case that a program randomly crashes and stops responding, use command option escape, which lets you force quit applications if they crash. Now, for quickly previewing files, use the space bar, which opens up any image and a lot of other file types in quick view, so you don't have to open them separately. It's also possible to make your browsing experience on a Mac faster by using Command plus T to open up new tabs in the browser and Command W to close them without having to navigate to the tiny X icon with your mouse. What can also happen sometimes is for you to get lost among all the apps that are open. In that case, use Command plus Tab to quickly switch between apps or swipe up with three fingers on your trackpad to bring up the mission control which will display all of your apps. It's also not a surprise that Trying to write something takes up a lot of time. To make the process a little faster, use command left or right arrow keys to jump between words and command plus backspace to delete an entire word instead of one letter at a time. Now, when you want to copy a file, don't use right click to do it. Just drag it somewhere by holding the option key and just hit the enter key to rename something really fast in Finder. And the thing is, if you really want to become more productive on your Mac, this list of shortcuts isn't enough on its own. There's actually one more thing you have to do to find those hidden features in Mac OS. And that's why you shouldn't ignore this video here because it's going to show you the newest Mac OS Monterey tips and tricks that come with the most recent update.